All right, it's tip of the day. We have ourselves a little module here that I got off of AliExpress. And um, it's not much to it. It's awful small. It's got a hole in it. Uh, but the hole was just for putting a screw in to mount it or something. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me draw a schematic of the uh, of the part. It looks like this. And there's a uh, connector here, and there's a connector here, and there's a connector here. Okay, so they're marked plus minus, and uh, plus minus and out. All right, it's marked. The PC board's marked ALS. PT19, okay, whatever that is. Uh, but yeah, this is the uh, circuit. So this is a, uh, this is a photodiode, all right? So what do photodiodes do? They leak current. And if this is an R, then V equals I R, okay? And so whatever current you have gets put across that resistor and creates a voltage. So you will be able to read a voltage out uh, between between these two signals. And that will be a measure of how bright the light is. So sometimes simple is better, right? If you just need something really, really easy and just whether something's on or off or just a real crude, is it dark, is it light, then, you know, simple is better sometimes. So let me show you some close-up photos here. Uh, there really isn't much to it. There's a resistor and a photodiode. There you go. So let's uh, let's see here. Let me turn my meter on here, and we'll figure out to figure out how big that resistor is. So then we can do our calculations. Let me uh, put it into a PC board here, so I can use my hands. It is a 10K ohm resistor, one of my favorites, 10K. So there you go. 10K, nice. All right, so let's use it in a circuit, okay? Um, we are going to have a, let's see where some volts here, let me find some volts. There we go. Ground. So um, we're going to take the photodiode, we're going to put 5 volts on one side and ground on the other side, and we're going to take the V out. We're going to run V out into a pin of our microprocessor. We're going to program the pin to be an analog pin, and then we're just going to read that analog pin, and that will be a, uh, an A to D value. It'll be, uh, I think when these are a 10-bit A to D value. And so we'll get a 10-bit A to D value. So it should go between uh, 0 and 1024. Um, but there will be some voltage drop due to the, uh, due to the diode, and uh, it won't get us all the way to 10, 1020. Uh. Let's see, we can test that. Let's see here, let me take my V out. Let's hook it up to, uh, yeah, so when I, put it on plus 5 volts, we get 1023, okay? I'll put it back to the photodiode. So now we're reading reading the values of the photodiode. Is that the camera's glaring here? Sorry. Sorry if you didn't, if you, there we go. I guess that, I guess that'll work right there. Let me do that again. I don't, I don't know if you saw it or not. So I'm going to take the, uh, that 1023 is when I have it on 5 volts. I'll put it back. There we go. All right, now I'm confused. Why is it being, giving, giving me such a big number? Let me reset it. Hmm. Oh, no, my uh, flashlight is dead. <laughs> Great. 
All right, I need another flashlight. I need another flashlight. If you can see, it's kind of jumping around, and I think that's due to the fluorescent light or the uh, LED lights flickering. So let's uh, let's get out a, uh, a flashlight from my uh, from my cell phone here, and we'll shine that shine that on here. Yeah, it's pretty constant, 970. I put my hand in the way; it goes down to down to a, lot, a smaller number. Put my finger on it. Try to shade all of the light. Get all, oops, get all of the light out of there. Dark, dark, dark. There we go. Ten. <laughs> all right. That's an easy chip of the day. Um, ho hopefully that number works if you can, to find these things. But if you look around AliExpress, you'll probably find these things. They're like really super, 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 super cheap. Um, and they are super, super, super simple.